I'm Rita Kano from GIST. Uh, in this presentation, I'd like to talk about the layered oriented low diameter topology for HPC interconnection networks. So, this is the outline of this presentation. Firstly, I'd like to talk about the low latency network topology with small in cabling cost. The subject of this research is low latency networks for HPC systems. When we focus on the end to end packet transfer, the switch latency is more dominant, which is 90 nanoseconds per each switch, while the net link latency is 5 nanoseconds per meter. So we have to reduce the intermediate switches on the end to end network path. And we can model the inter switch networks by network topologies among the switches. Then, we can construct a low latency network by minimizing the number of hops. Conventionally, high performance computing system designers consider the required system performance and the scalability and adopt widely used fat tree topology or torus or dragonfly for inter switch network topologies. We can use the more drastic way to reduce the latency by solving an order degree problem to find the network topology for an arbitrary network size with a small number of hops. This graph shows the found solutions of low hop topologies in the programming competition graph goal. And it is revealed that most of the proposed solutions for this problem use heuristic approaches. These approaches generate irregular topologies as shown here. The negative aspect of such irregular network topologies is that we have to use a huge number of long global cables to connect switches. As shown in the right side figure, we will suffer from increased total cable lengths for irregular topologies compared to the for the conventional regular topologies. Now we will introduce the low diameter and the scalable slim fly topologies. Recently proposed slim fly topology is low latency and low cabling cost network topology for high performance computing systems. The bottom figures show the construction of for 18 and 50 switches. The most powerful aspect of this topology is that it can keep the maximum number of hops code diameter of two. However, the negative aspect is that we have to use slim fly for specified pairs of number of nodes and degree. So we cannot use slim fly for arbitrary network sizes. Next, we will move to the point symmetrical topologies, which is the base of the, our proposed method described later. The point symmetrical topology, called CMSA in this presentation, is one of the solutions for the order degree problem. It is available for arbitrary number of nodes and degree, which is unlike slim fly topologies. In the definition of point symmetrical topology, we give the number G, which indicates the number of groups. In the left side figure, there are four groups with different colors. And you can see each group consists of six nodes, and in the whole network, there are 24 nodes. And for the given value G, the topology is point symmetrical for rotation in the angle of 360 degree divided by G. To reduce the end-to-end -end number of hops, the optimization is performed with simulated annealing. In the optimization phase, the diameter can be minimized while maintaining the symmetry of the topology. Next, we will introduce the proposed method the layout-oriented optimized symmetrical topologies. To reduce the number of intercabinet cables in the symmetrical topology, we will have to deal with the topology uniformity. In the conventional slim fly topology, the two three of the cables in the whole networks are the inner cabinet ones. However, in the symmetrical topology, CMSA, the most of the cables are between cabinets which leads to longer total cable lengths. In our proposed method, we focus on the groups defined in the symmetrical topology. 
We associate each group to a cabinet in the one-to-one -one manner. We also introduce a ratio sigma indicating the lower bound of inner group keyboards. This ratio is applied during the essay optimization steps. As shown in this pseudo code, for each optimization step, we apply the value mean links derived from sigma and other parameters. The outer while loop can keep the number of inner cabinet cables by regenerating a new solution when the number of inner group cables is below the mean links. These figures show the examples of the original and proposed topologies. We use the notation CMSA local sigma to denote the ratio of inner cabinet cables. As shown here, the increased ratio of inner cabinet cables can reduce the global inner cabinet cables. Next, we move to the evaluation and comparison. In the evaluation of graph analysis, we evaluate the original and propose the symmetrical topologies. We compare them with the conventional slim fly topologies. In this evaluation, we measure the average shortest path length and total cable length assuming an intuitive layout method. Here, we show the comparison results with slim fly. In the left side figure, we show the average shortest path length varying the number of switches. The lower path length means the lower latency and thus improved network performance. As shown here, the slim fly has the best performance due to its smallest diameter of two. The original and proposed symmetrical topologies degrade the performance. It is also notable that the original and proposed CMSAs can generate for arbitrary network sizes, which cannot be achieved by SlimFly. Moreover, as shown in the right side figure, the proposed CMSA local for the sigma of 0.8 can reduce the number of intercabinet cables and thus can reduce the total cable length by up to 55.90%. We also measure the application performance using non-parallel benchmarks on the full system SimGrid simulator. We set the number of computing hosts as 1024. We adopt the symmetrical topologies and other seven topologies as shown in this table. The results are shown here. The x-axis shows the applications in NPB and the y-axis is the normalized speed up rate. The CMSA local 0 0.80 is shown in the rightmost bar for each application. We can see the proposed CMSA local can improve the wide range of application performance. Specifically, compared with the widely used fat tree topologies, our proposed method can achieve 3.12 times better performance. We also measure the calculation time for optimization. We introduce the additional parameter sigma to regenerate the solutions, which may lead to the severe increase on the calculation time. However, in our experiment, this limitation leaves negligible additional calculation time. So we can generate our proposed topology in almost the same practical time as the original symmetrical topology. The conclusion is shown here. We propose CMSA local supporting low latency and high scalability on cabling costs. We can reduce the total cable length drastically and significantly improve the application performance comparing to the conventional regular topologies for HPC systems. We published the implemented code in the GitHub. If you have any question, please send me an email to my email address shown in the first slide. You can also ask questions on the Slack workspace during the Kantar 2020 Symposium.